In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Xlights um, for Linux on a Docker environment. Uh, this Docker environment is actually a Docker environment for Windows. Uh, don't ask me why you'd want to install the Linux version of Xlights on Docker on Windows, but I think the steps are pretty much the same if you have a Docker environment. So uh, I thought this was kind of a cool exercise, so I thought I'd show you how I did that. First of all, you need to uh, have Docker for Windows installed. So Docker Windows install. Now I won't really be able to show you this portion of it because I've already got it installed. But essentially you're going to click on Docker Desktop for Windows and you'll get that running. You end up having something when it's done like this. You'll get the application. Now these Docker uh, images are unrelated to Xlite, so don't expect to see these. These are some things I have running for myself. Uh, Ubuntu, uh, database, and a trading app. So this is your basic Docker environment that you install to. And uh, let's go ahead from there and we will start with installing the Docker from the README. Hold on. Okay, so looking at the README uh, for Linux, uh, let's follow along the steps. Let me open up a command window. And first of all, we will make sure Docker is working. So just do a Docker command. It's going to give you some help or something, right? Let's make sure it's working. Yep, it's working. We're seeing something. So now looking at the README, it b basically you want to create um, the environment first. So I get this right and paste over here. Um, there we go. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. Where? Oops, this I grabbed the wrong one. How about this one? Control C, Control V, paste. There we go. So this is going to pull in just basically the environment and a git file. Um, in the next step, then we will try and run it. And control C, control V. Run it. Now it's running. Now we're going to we're going to run the bash script to get into um, that container and I'll show you that right now. Go to my image desktop you can see that there is the image file and then if I go to containers yeah I see my build VM and that's called build VM because the original intention here was just to build it not actually run it but I'm you know it's just a name it doesn't matter and it's currently running perfect so now we're sitting on a bash shell script so if you know your Linux stuff you're, you you know some basic scripting things. I think top is there. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can do anything you want here. So now we're actually going to build Xlight. So the command here, first of all, it says it's going to run a, a thing called recipe. Uh, and, and we can do a more on it if we wanted to to see what it looks like, but we won't bother. Uh, it says to run bin bash recipe. Let's see how that goes. There we go. So it's cloning. It's pulling in the, the GitHub um, source code and it's going to compile it and this will probably take 10-15 uh, minutes so let's let this run and uh, we'll come back to this so I'll pause the video and we'll come back okay so it did finish the install um, I think I can scroll back maybe yeah so you, you get a few warnings but those are from underlying libraries there's not, nothing to be concerned about so ls lt you should have an Xlights directory. So I'm going to click exit for here and do we'll continue on. Okay, to use the Linux um, application on your Windows box, you need a X11 software. So let me show you one I used in my previous life as a developer, and I think it still works. It's called Xming. And this again, click on that guy. And uh, Xming server for Windows, click the download, and just a simple install. It's very simple to install. Once it's installed, you don't really see much. It's in your, um, what's it called, your tray. It, it runs down in your system tray, and then that's it. So go ahead and do that portion. 
let's put all the pieces together now. Let's see. We've got Xming running. We've got the software compiled. We need to do an IP config. That should show you... Yeah, it shows you the IP address of the Docker environment. So it's not going to be your normal 192 address, when you, you know, assuming you have 192. Um, it's not going to be that IP address. It's going to be this IP address, 172. So now we want to uh, use that. And let me look over on my readme here. We're going to do a Docker exec minus IT minus E for environment. We're going to set the display equal to 172.20.48.1 colon 0, .0, .0. So what this is doing is telling Docker to set my display back to that IP address and that's where Xming is going to see it and find it and everything like that. Um, we need the container name so let's go here I'm sure that we click on a container it's called build VM remember so it's build VM build build VM and then we could run just a bash scroll, uh, script here or we can go specifically and run the application so I figured out that the application is running in this directory I mean we, we could show you two steps but Let's show you this one first. X lights. All right. So if I've got everything correct, this should start X lights. There it is. It's over here. Let me bring it over to the screen. That's modern. Boom! It's running. It's running here, and it's asking you to select a show folder, exactly like we'd expect it to be. So let's create a show folder. So again, this is inside of the container. It's not pointing to your um, PC at this point. I'll show you that in the next steps. But uh, let's just create one. Um, I think we can go root folder, create a new folder, and we'll call it show folder, and click create, and click open, and it's over here. There you go. You're running the Linux version on Windows Docker, and you have a controller, so layout. Uh, that looks normal. Click and drag. And yeah, there we go. Uh, oops. I'm terrible with that. So number of canes would be one. And here we go. Anyway, we got the basics. Here's a matrix. Click and drag. Everything just like you normally would expect to see in X-Lights. This is great for people to test out, including myself and other developers that actually don't normally run a Linux environment. You can test to make sure everything is still working or if somebody reports an issue on the, the X-Lights version, you can run it in a Docker environment to verify that everything is still working. Um, I believe this would be still something you could run if you were running a Linux environment in your house or on your PC, you may be running Linux and you you might want to run Docker on Linux and then run XLite. So I would think that the exact same st steps are applicable. So let's X, uh, we'll s eh, we, eh, we won't save it. And we'll come back and we're back out to our directory or back out to our command line. So there's the command that I used to run. If you didn't want to do it that way, you could run a bash script. Uh, I think I, I'm going to put bin bash in here. I don't know if you need bin in there, but I'm going to put it in anyway. And this gets you clear. This gets you on the Unix environment. And we can just see that what we ran was here and x lights. x lights git. And we ran into the bin directory. And then we could run x lights. So we can run it the same way. You can run it that way as well. You can go in and bash and, and find it just as well. Uh, don't show the tips. Click close. So there's two ways to run it. So save no. It's fine. And in this case, since we're running bash, we're still in bash here. We're still in the Unix box that's containing our X lights. If you want to exit here, you would click exit. And now you're back at the command line. So there's two ways to get in. You can do bash to get onto the command line and then call X lights, or you can go directly into X lights. 
So the next steps would be how do we connect your host directories so that your show folder and your sequences can be in both places. So let's do that in the, the next segment here. All right, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here. So what we have so far is Xlights running in a container works fine, but currently we cannot talk to anything on our host directories. So let's backtrack a little bit and uh, get that working. So first of all, we're going to stop the container and we are going to remove the container. Again, you're not removing the um, image, you're just removing the container, which is uh, a, an instance of the image, I guess is how my understanding. Again, I'm, I'm really a novice in the Docker stuff, so bear with me. Um, let's, let's create a folder, and I actually did already, but let's, uh, let me delete my, uh, it's already there. So, um, make directory my show folder. All right. So if I do a directory somewhere in here, you can see my show folder there. There's show folder and there's my show folder. So that's that's all good. Um, now we're going to start the container. And I've already ran the command, so I'm going to do it up here. And I'm going to use my show folder now. So it says run, uh, passing a volume, saying I'm going to link up my show folder to uh, a folder called Mount C. Well, I'm going to call that show folder, my show folder here. I'm going to link it up to one called show folder. So inside of the, um, the Docker image or Docker container will be a new f directory called show folder. And it's going to be T, the name is build VM and the name is going to be that. So click on enter. All right, so now it's running. Let me go to Docker here in the desktop. And uh, we have it running. Now, again, this is, uh, I think there's a command here that says view details, mounts. There you can see that my show folder on the host, i.e. my PC, is linked to a folder called show folder on the destination. So there we go. So now if I go, uh, we're running it already, so we want to execute something. We want to go to the bash script. There we go. And if I do a ls minus ltr, you should see show folder there. There, you, there it is. And uh, unfortunately, because we removed the container, and built it uh, and created a new one. We don't have the Xlight software built again, so I won't bore you with it. But I need to rebuild it. So unfortunately, it's the way I did it. It would have blown away. Maybe there was a way to add a mount to it, but I I didn't know. So um, yeah, let's just uh, I'm going to end up running it again. But you know what? Before I do that, let's let's just prove a point here. So let's go to show folder. And here, and let's just uh, echo some some test file here to some test file. So there's that. And then if I was to look on, um, if I look on my Windows File Explorer in my My Show folder, there is my test file. So you can see that any files we create in Xlights. Um, will come over here, and any sequences we put in here will show up here as well. So let me uh, get the Xlights build going. Let me go back to my root directory and slash bin slash bash and uh, recipe. I think I need to do a, uh, probably whatever. Nope, where is it? I want to go. Oh, uh, uh, slash. Go to, there it is. I didn't get to the right directory. So bin bash recipe. All right, so let me finish that, come back, and we'll wrap it all up by showing you creating the show folder and how it actually goes to your um, host system, your PC, or your Linux box. So let this run and come back, and, and we'll wrap up this video. The build is finished. Let's see how we do. So let's go to the Xlights directory. Go to X 
xlites git bin xlites starts up. Here we go. We're going to go to other locations. Mm -hmm. the home. How do we see? How do we see the folders? There we go. Show folder. Click open. The folder you chose does not connect. Uh, that's because it's a brand new one, so that's what we're expecting to see. So here it is. Uh, we don't care about emails. And let's just drop a matrix in here and go to the save button. That's it. Let's check and see. Sure enough, it wrote what we normally would see for a show folder. But now it's coming from, now we can remove this test file. We don't care about that. But this is your typical show folder that your Docker container can see. And you can drop in sequences in here just like you would anything else. So that, that wraps it up. We went through installing um, Xming, which is your X Windows client, so you can get a GUI at the desktop. We have Docker for Windows. We installed the container, the image first, then we built the container, then we compiled the software. We linked up the directory so that we can link back your host PC to the container and then we started and used X sites. So I think that's everything we want to cover here. If you enjoyed it, be sure and like and subscribe and all that usual jazz and stay tuned for more interesting videos on the X lights gems. Thank you.